Airsoft guns. We can rebuild them. We have the skills. We can make them stronger, faster, and better than they were before. Hey guys, welcome back to AEX Tech Tips. I'm Jeremy. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to do a spring upgrade in your AEG. Uh, I rate this uh, 7 out of 10 gears. Uh, some of the reasons why you'd want to do a spring upgrade is to either decrease or increase the velocity of your AEG. Uh, for this demonstration we're going to be using a Classic Army version 2 gearbox. Uh, the tools you're going to be using for this is going to be Phillips screwdriver, medium punch, and I use, usually use a razor blade to line the gears back up um, and whatnot. So. Now remember, if you do any kind of modifications or upgrades yourself, you will void your warranty. Unless you're really sure and know what you're doing and everything, I would bring it to an Airsoft Extreme technician. Alright, let's get started. Uh, if you want to learn how to take apart or get to your gearbox, uh, we have an episode 9 where uh, we use a Classic Army TAC carbine um, and it tells you how to break it down to the gearbox. Let's get started. So this, for this particular model, um, the screws that hold it in place are Phillips screws. Um, some models uh, use Torx wrench or Torx head uh, screws. Um, most of the time they're either a T10 or a T7. Uh, Torx wrench. And now to get this apart, uh, I put my finger on the cylinder here, use the punch to hold the spring guide in place, or to brace it into place. Just hold this down or else it's going to pop up on you. And gently push up, grab the mech box, and then just release the spring. And there's that. Sometimes the shims are going to want to stick to the uh, to the uh, bushings to the gearbox. Uh, just remember where they go. All right, now time to do the spring upgrade. We got the mech box opened up here. Uh, we remove the spring, spring guide. Remove the cylinder. And just real quick, check the compression. Make sure everything is all good. Everything looks good. All right, now time to do, or put it back together. So tap the plate, goes on the nozzle here. You're gonna make sure that the, uh, there's little grooves on here on the nozzle that this uh, tap of plate sits into. Which moves the nozzle back and forth. Put that back. Use a spring, put this back on the tap of plate. The, the spring goes around this little hook around the tap of plate and also this little pin. Make sure everything is good. Now it's time to put in the new spring. For this demonstration, we're going to use the Classic Army uh, uh, 120 spring. Most springs have tighter coils on one side of the spring. Um, that's prevent it from, uh, when you put it back together, the tighter coils are going to go around the spring guide. Uh, that prevents it from binding up when uh, it's being compressed. This particular model, or this particular spring, doesn't have the uh, tire coils, uh, but most upgraded springs do. So you put this guy back in, grab your medium punch, and you're ready to put it back together. I put this in the spring guide. That's why I use that razor blade. Just make sure everything's just kind of lined up. 
So I usually use a razor blade to line the gears back into these the, the bushings, these holes, and also the uh, and reverse latch. And I also use it if it's real nice in between the if the uh, piston is not lined up right or it's not on track. If it's kind of gapped like that, you can kind of get in there a little bit easier than you can with like uh, you know a screwdriver or anything else. Um, just kind of push it back together. You can line it up right. You know, you can also get in the, if you, the, these gears are not getting into place, whatnot. You can just kind of, you know, position it that way. And that's what I use. Um, I just find it's a little bit easier. It's thin. It gets in the, the gaps a little bit easier, whatnot. Um, if you're going to cut yourself, just dull this out. You know, just dremel it down, file it, whatever. Make sure there's no gaps and you're ready to start putting it back together. All right, now we got it all back together. Um, we just did the spring upgrade. Uh, now let's go put it back together in the gun and go chrono it and see how it does. That's been this edition to Tech Tips. I'm Jeremy and you have a good night.